Hey gun, this uh, is another episode of Let's Talk About That. Um, it's about drugs. <coughs> and I'm going to be not censoring this, not sugarcoating things. I'm just going to say how it is. Now, I've seen a lot in my life. I've seen a lot of bad people. And it seems to be that drugs is the problem in society. We're not talking about prescription drugs here, or, you know, we're talking about, you know, crack, we're talking about marijuana, we're talking about, you know, all the bad shit. Now, unfortunately for me, I've dated a lot of people that have gone down that road. And the one thing that doesn't surprise me is they're all the same. They all blame everybody on their life. They all blame people for being the way they are. They never take responsibility for themselves. They're the first to ask for handouts. They're the first to ask for money. They're the first to use people and take advantage of people. And that's not right. If you have a drug habit, stop asking people for money. Because you're in the situation you're in because of your filthy habits. And I just can't understand why, you know, you'd want to bring that upon people. Don't be lazy and do drugs all your life. Get a job. Earn your money. Do something with your life. You know, the one thing, if I was a female or a male, I wouldn't want to be called a junkie or a druggie or a druggie slut. Because most of these girls <coughs> they don't have money. How do you think they get their drugs? They do sexual favors to the guy. So not only they're getting their drugs free, but they're getting sex at the same time. Do you really want to be known for that? It's a filthy habit which will cost you thousands, tens of thousands of dollars a year. But you could be putting that on a house. You could be putting that on a car. You may think it's all cool now. But later on in life, you're going to get very sick. And every time you do drugs, it's lowering your immune system. I don't have time for druggies. I wouldn't date one ever again. I wouldn't even socialize with them. Marijuana is one thing. I get that. Theoretically, it is healthier than cigarettes and vapes. Vapes are the worst. <clears throat> but it's the other stuff that will kill you. It's the other stuff that will turn your brain into like scrambled eggs pretty much. Is that how you want to live your life? You do realize that to find someone decent in life, you have to become decent yourself. I'm not saying you have to be perfect because no one's perfect in this world, but drugs will just ruin your life. It'll cost you friendships, it'll cost you relationships. It's not worth it. And 90% of these women that do drugs are bad human beings. They want to take advantage of guys, use them, ask for money. And it's not just a drug habit. Because if they're doing drugs, then they're obviously doing smoking cigarettes and getting drunk. Where do you think all that money's going? I hated growing up being poor and not having things in life. And I wanted to, at a young age, be like, hey, I don't want to be like all these other people. I want to get a job. I want to make my parents proud. I want to, you know, I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't even drink anymore. I make these sacrifices to better my own health. I'm sick at the moment as I'm making this vid. I'm on some antibiotics that are really horrible. But I know what I want in life. I want people to go get help. You know, the first thing is, if, you're, if you hang around people that do drugs, you'll be influenced by them. And unfortunately with guys, they're not very picky when it comes to their choice of women. They, they, the moment, you know, they get a compliment or a bit of affection, these guys fall in love with these wrong sort of girls. And that's what gets them in trouble. You got to realize as a guy, do you think this girl wants you for you? Or do they, do they want you for your money? Do they want you so you can buy them stuff? Their drugs, their alcohol, their cigarettes. <clears throat> I'd rather be single and happy for the rest of my life than... Be with these sort of druggies that want to take advantage of me. See, one, 
one per the last two people I've dated, one of them was an absolute stoner with a lot of kids. I didn't need that in a partner. Did not need that. The one that I was with was just so messed up. She was just it wasn't just the marijuana, it was just, she was just a horrible person. And I think now she's probably doing worse to drugs. Marijuana is a thing that's been legalized everywhere in the world. You know, some people need it for medical reasons. I get that. It does help with pain and it does help with depression. I'm not stupid. It's just I prefer not to be with someone that does that because I couldn't stand the smell and I couldn't be kissing someone that has that kind of breath. And that's my prerogative. I want someone that, you know, is decent in life. It's like, um, you know, these single mothers that have more than three or four kids, you think, all different fathers to all those kids. One, I can understand. Two, you're getting unlucky. But when it starts getting more than three different fathers for three different kids or four different fathers for four different kids, then you know there's something not right there. It's too much of a coincidence why that person can't work in a relationship. The last person I dated had six kids. And straight away, that, that I should have been like warning lights. Didn't have a license, didn't work, didn't drive, didn't do anything. Smoked marijuana and just, you know, would try to take advantage of me. Didn't go very far, being honest. Look, life is really short. If you're taking drugs, your life's going to be a lot more shorter and you're going to be more sick. Your immune system will catch things that you wouldn't usually catch. I know one person in particular, all they do is smoke marijuana every day, play the pokies, buy their cigarettes, buy their alcohol, and then complain they got no money. Then they're asking people for money. That's not how you live life. And unfortunately, a couple of my ex-friends, I hate the fact knowing that how they get their drugs is obviously oral sex or selling their bodies to the guy. I mean, it's good for the female. She gets free sex and free drugs, but that's not how you want to live your life. If you're doing that, it's not worth it. You're a bad human being if you're doing it that way. <clears throat> And, it, and if it's for weed, that's even worse. But juice. If you, I, I, I had one friend that took that shit all the fucking time. And one time I picked her up and she was completely out of it. And taking her to a guy's place that I knew what was going to happen made me sick to my stomach knowing that this is how the guys do it. They get these girls all drugged up and the girls get their free drugs because that's what they want and then they have sex. You know, that's not how you live life. Now I'm holding back a lot of tears here because that person was a good friend of mine and I, I really care about her. But the sort of people she hangs around with are criminals, are bad druggies, and the sort of guys that belong in jail. And that person wants to hang out with those sort of people over a decent guy like me. And that's why I get confused and go, that's so messed up. You know, growing up, our parents taught us, you know, if you're a decent guy, you'll find a decent girl. You, If you're if you're polite and you love yourself, you'll, you'll find someone. That's a crock of crap. Crock of shit. Because... What my ex-fiance four years ago taught me that I had to become a better person. And I did. You know, I got my shit together mentally and physically. Yes, I don't look my age and I love that factor. You know why I don't look my age and I look young as what I do? Because there's no drugs in my system. There's no cigarettes. There's no alcohol. It's just, you know, getting by one day at a time. Because I remember my friend used to look really beautiful. I had a before she was doing the heavy drugs, she looked beautiful. She wasn't skin and bones. She absolutely... She was a model too. And you look at her now, she's pale in the face. She looks sick. 
she's just she looks like a junkie and you notice with some of these junkies they have bad teeth very bad teeth missing teeth holes in teeth and it's like look at you I mean I remember my fiance complaining about her weight and and it you know I could see how much it affected her because women are very sensitive about their looks but you do drugs you're gonna lose them even marijuana can de-age it, it makes you older in your age too in your face especially this is why I'm saying if you want to live a happy life get away from the drugs because you will lose your look, looks a lot quicker and the moment you you lose your looks guys won't want you unless they're really desperate I just don't understand how and I'm looking at some people right now that I know that their lives are being affected by drugs I look at the friend I was talking about there looks absolutely beautiful back in her days and then you look at other photos of her and you go drugs have ruined her looks don't do it I'm telling everyone to stop now do you want to get sick all the time do you want to lose your looks it's not worth it the amount of money you spend a year you would go crazy thinking oh my god I spent that much and then you complain sometimes you don't have food to eat and you're spending 40 50 bucks on a packet of cigarettes and then 25 30 on some marijuana and then you're paying up to 100 bucks in alcohol that's where your money's going I get you want to have a party life and a good life you can still go out to a nightclub and have a few drinks and not get intoxicated you can still go to a nightclub and not drink at all and do no drugs and still have fun I think if you need a reason to go out and get drunk or if you need a reason to do drugs something's wrong when you have some spare time go in the mirror strip yourself naked and look at yourself because then you'll realize oh shit you'll know that there's a lot of stuff you don't like do it when you're sober because then you can realize your mistakes we all need to learn by our mistakes see in my life I've only loved two people I had a good beautiful partner when I was 19 and my recent one of six years I've not had anyone decent since I've not loved anyone since and the fact that you know I had the best partner in the world she had no kids n never touched drugs never touched cigarettes and she wasn't my type but she was absolutely beautiful due to the fact that she didn't want to be lazy you know she had a, a normal job and then she had another job volunteering at an op shop that's amazing these druggies you go into their house what's the first thing you see the house is trashed rubbish is not in rubbish is bongs everywhere security cameras up there's always security cameras how do you live your life in filth even if you just do marijuana why is the rest of your house trashed with bongs all over the place rubbish all over the place holes in walls that's not how you want to live your life now I I make a lot about these vids I make a lot about let's talk about that watch the previous one it'll be in the one of the corners of the screen I make these vids to help people because when I die someday whether it's today or tomorrow at least if I can get through to one person I've done my job you know life's too short it's how you want to live your last days and how you want to be do you want to be sick and unhealthy and be depressed what I stated in one of my vids single life has been the best for me it's been less stressful it's been I've been at peace I've found myself I've learned to love myself I love to appreciate myself I have offers <clears throat> believe me I have offers but it's from the druggies it's from the single mums and I don't want that yeah I understand that for the rest of my life I could be single 
that I can still get my hugs and kisses and sex and all that stuff, but I'm telling you, if you're not happy with yourself, then no one else will be happy with you. If you know you're a junkie that always wants drugs and you're willing to like do stuff to guys to get those drugs, you need help. Do you really want to end up in a nut bin or a hospital or jail, worst case? If you have a partner that's an absolute bum too that does that and you don't do that, you know better than them. I dated someone that from day one, there was red flags. My family didn't like this person. I wasn't in love with this person. But I thought I was giving this person an opportunity to be in a good relationship. Because she came from an abusive one. And I realized from day one, it never work. I hate the fact she smoked marijuana. I hate the fact that, you know, she was unfaithful. And I knew it from day one. I mean, it's pretty obvious when you see two people talking and go, oh yeah, I don't exist. This person only wants me because they get the expensive things in life. And I'm so glad I'm not with that person anymore. Though this person thinks that they're still a part of my life, that not. This person thinks that I'm, you know, in love with them or was in love with them or anything like that. Fuck no. You can't, you can't love a junkie. You can't make a whore a housewife. And I've learnt that Man, if I could go back and change some things, I would never have dated that person. You know when your parents and your family doesn't like the person, that's a pretty good indication. And when you know that things go on behind your back, that's when you know you've got to end it. <clears throat> when you know they're unfaithful is another reason. I've got videos on relationship stuff. It'll be in the corners of the screen, but for anyone that is struggling out there and they're depressed because they don't have anybody. Be happy. Be happy you are single. Don't be with someone that can tell you who you can and can't be friends with. Don't be with someone that can tell you what you can and can't wear. No one has a right to tell you what to do. And if they are the sort of person that are troubled, some of them can't be helped. Believe me, some of them cannot be helped. It just sucks because, like, I don't do drugs, I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke, and I'm this sick. Not because, not because of any of that. I'm sick because my immune system's stuffed. And, like, you see today, like, with COVID and stuff, you know, it, we have to live with it. But at the moment, there's a virus slash flu going around where it's, like, it's affected me and my father. He's very sick. You know, hopefully he pulls out of this. But it's the good people like us that get sick. Why these druggies smoke their lives away, do their drugs, do their juice. But they don't get as sick as what we do. And that angers me. And then they have the nerve to ask for money when, you know, they're short. That's what's wrong with society today. These druggies... They'll get what's coming to them. <clears throat> but it's not quick enough. I know one particular. She got her kid taken away from her years and years ago. And because she was a junkie. And I'm talking the bad drugs here. And every now and again she'd resurface and try to con me into sleeping with her because she knows if she gets a baby out of me she gets money she gets a house and all that that's what one of these junkies is trying to do to me she pretends to be nice but always asking for money and when i say no she goes schizo she goes absolutely schizo at me all right and it's like i've told her straight out you ain't getting a cent off me and the reason why you don't have your kid today is because of your lifestyle you know, when she's homeless on the street, 
I don't even feel sorry for her anymore. Because she chose to live that life. And we are talking drugs that are $200. Juice. And we're talking about she does the other stuff too, which... One night, it was pouring down with rain. And she's sleeping at the service station. And I was like, you know what? The goodness of my heart, I'll go pick her up. And she can sleep in my car for an hour. That way she gets a bit of sleep and a bit of warmth. And I looked at her when she was asleep and I went, I don't want to be a part of her life. And she she even said the last time I saw her, she goes, why do you keep putting up with my crap? Even I treat you like shit and, I, and, I, and you still come and rescue me. And I'm like, it's because I'm a good human being. I want to see people happy. I want to see people succeed in life. But these druggies, you know, the moment they start asking for money of people like me that earn our money by having a job, I got two jobs, you know, busting our ass out there, because money is tight at the moment for everybody. But when you see these druggies asking, it's like, oh man, just fucking stay away from me. And if you are a girl that's always asking for money, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Asking random strangers for money? Oh, pay it back. Druggies never pay it back. Because they're in the situation they are for a reason. And like I said, there's one on my Facebook that I just... Every day. Every day asking for the same amount of money. And... I find it interesting because a month ago, the stupid idiot put on her Snapchat how much she had in her bank. She wasn't struggling for money. And every night when she goes to the pokies, it's like she's betting one and two dollar bets at a time. If you're putting 50 bucks in the pokies to do that, you're going to lose your money quick. You know, one out of 10 times you might actually win something, but then you put it all back. And if you don't put it back, you're blowing it on drugs and alcohol and marijuana. You wonder why you're single. You wonder why the person that was living with you tried to beat you up and your animal and your house. Because living with a druggie like that, they can turn in a second. I'm speaking here from experience. You don't want to be with someone like that. Imagine dating someone that you don't know when they're going to snap at you or bash you. That's pretty bad. These druggies, they may seem fine and put on a smile the moment that drug goes into their system, that serotonin, boom. So I'm just saying, you know, if you know people like this, stay away from them because they can only bring you down. And I'll leave it at that. Check the four corners of your screen. Hope you liked it. The audio should be better because I was using my um, good mic tonight. So yeah, talk to you soon.